I'm sorry, you appreciate what? Well, you're talking to me in a calm manner. I, I am. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I didn't disrupt the meeting. I'm being told to leave because someone said I had to leave. Uh, one of the staffers of Miss Silva, I guess, she told me that I had to leave, probably because she didn't want me to ask her certain questions. So I can't go back in? No. I don't know. Why not? Until the unit comes. Which unit? A unit? Yeah, we're going to have an officer come down. What, what officer? I'm just saying, he's just going to come and want to speak to you, see, what, see what's, uh, what they have to say and what you might have to share. Okay. I don't know how long it's going to be. Though. An officer? You mean a Fullerton police officer? Anaheim PD. Anaheim police officer? Okay. Well, you are on record. I left the room. Yeah. So, I, I just, this is like astounding to me. I don't know what, for some reason, Sharon Quirk Silva doesn't want to answer the questions I had to ask her. I did confront her. She voted for Assembly Bill 2943. This is legislation which, if it had passed, it would have banned the Bible. It would have banned teachings, instructions on helping individuals who wanted to break free of uh, LGBT behaviors, people who don't want to be gay anymore, who want to live heterosexual lives again, or who don't want to struggle with gender dysphoria, and then I was told to leave. Uh, I raised my hand, and then the staffer says, you're disrupting the meeting, because I raised my hand. That's just unbelievable. Okay, so apparently the Anaheim Police Department is coming. I'm not sure why. Okay, and you're Sammy... Sammy Brito. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have an ID number right there. Okay. Got it. No minor. No donut today. Oh, you got to put them in the machine. Huh? You don't take care of me no more. Yeah, why? You have a deep boat, huh? I'm still, where, where's the police department? Or there's an officer who's supposed to come, they didn't right? They me exactly, the, they just said he'll be responding. I didn't give me a time. Uh -huh. I know there's some, sometimes it takes a while. Oh, I'm sure uh, it does. That they respond to mm -hmm. more further emergencies out there. Hello. How you doing? So it might seem a little strange. I might have like a really close up on my face. Sorry about that. So I'm outside here of the North Orange Coast College district here. I'm at the Anaheim campus. What's the name of this campus? What's the name of this campus? North this is Orange the County Community College District. district. Okay. Anaheim yep. campus. So there's is there a Fullerton campus as well? Is, it, uh, is there a Fullerton campus? There is a Fullerton campus. Okay, is this, is this like the main campus, campus or something or uh, what? Is Anaheim this, campus. Is this the main one? This is a district building. So this is where I know this is where the officials are. So, these are the questions I wanted to ask Ms. Silva. I wanted to ask her why she voted to ban the Bible and why she voted for a bill, SB 54, which invites illegal aliens to come into the state of California uh, to harm American citizens. But my big issue was Assembly Bill 2943, the ban the Bible bill, the must stay gay bill, the bill that would have prevented men and women who no longer want to struggle with same-sex attraction who want to be set free from gender dysphoria how they would no longer be able to seek the therapy they they need okay
Okay. So it's been about, I guess, 15 minutes. Where's the uh, Anaheim police officer? Did, did he give you a name? Which officer was supposed to come? Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. Do you think it's disruptive to raise your hand in a meeting, just generally speaking? Is that disruptive? I'm not going to answer that. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I asked you for your name. You don't want to give me your name. I don't have to. Okay. I don't have to answer your question. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, is it disruptive to attend a meeting that's hosted by an elected official? Is it disruptive to agree with the sentiment spoken by a speaker? Hey, how you doing, Sam? I'm down, can you come down to the first floor automatic, uh, first floor of the canopy area. Okay. okay. You need a Yeah, if you come by. Sure. Stand by with me. I go to Anaheim PD out of unit, um, just to speak with you. Oh, so that's not the Anaheim police officer. Okay. I know. Interesting. They're making this gentleman somehow. I have to be watched just because I was just because I wanted to attend an, a meeting with Sharon Quirk Silva, Assemblywoman Sharon Quirk Silva, and Assemblyman Phil Ting of San Francisco are holding a meeting in a publicly funded facility which is this uh, North Orange County Community College District. And I'm not allowed to go inside or they wouldn't allow me to. This is America. And you understand that. Um, you took an oath. I'm, do they make you take the oath for the United States Constitution as a security personnel? Okay. So a guy named Tim is supposed to be coming, but he's not here. We're waiting for the Anaheim Police Department, and they're not here for some reason. So this is what's happening right now in California. We have elected officials who don't want to be confronted on their votes. They vote for very bad things. And then when they want to come to the community and speak on issues, they, uh, they don't want to be confronted on the votes they cast. Are you Tim? Okay. Tim. Okay. that's me. Good. Okay. Look. Okay. We're going to have a conversation. Absolutely. Can I ask you to stand over there? Okay. Sure. And just give me space too, okay? Well, I'm respecting yours. Put your camera in my face. I didn't put I'm it in your you face. To to step over there. So I've stepped over here. Thank you. Could you step over by the pole? Okay. Well, I, w why? Because you're farther away from me. Okay. Well, this is far enough. I want to be able to That's see your you. Decision. Okay. Thank you. Now, can you please tell me why I was asked to leave? Tim. Tim, would you please tell me why I was asked to leave? I just raised my hand to ask a question. I just raised my hand to ask a question, and they said I was disruptive. They said I was disruptive for raising my hand. This is Assemblywoman Sharon Quirk Silva. She doesn't want to speak with her uh, with uh, citizens here in the state of California, she doesn't want to own up to the votes that she cast. That's not okay. This makes absolutely no sense. 
I, wh why is it that I'm not allowed to speak with an assemblyman? I just raised my hand. That's all that I did. This is what's going on in California right now. You want to confront elected officials on what they're doing and they don't want to they don't want to do anything. Unbelievable. This is probably going to be a really long video. This is just unbelievable. What is she so afraid of? that she doesn't want to speak with me. What is going on in the state of California? What's going on here in Orange County? Do I have recourse to file a lawsuit? But that's not where it's at. When your rights are disrespected, what do you do? When your rights are dishonored, what do you do? I mean. Are we going to keep running to court? I don't think pro-family activists, I don't think citizens in the state of California should feel like they have to run away. All I did was raise my hand. All right, folks.